वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल मिस मेडिसिन दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट हर्ट साउंड डिफरेंट हर्ट साउंड फर्स्ट वन विल बी द नॉर्मल हर्ट साउंड रिड्यूस्ड इंटेंसिटी हर्ट साउंड लाइक लाउड फर्स्ट हर्ट साउंड सेकेंड हर्ट साउंड इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल फॉलोअर्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड फेसबुक First one is the normal heard sound. Chest piece is diaphragm, area mitral apex, position is supine. Normal heard sounds are associated with closing of the heart valves. This is normal first and the second heard sound at 60 beats per minute. The normal heard sound demonstrating S1 followed by the S2, best audible at the apex. The first heard sound has slightly greater intensity than the second heard sound. This sound is aortic sclerosis. Chest piece is diaphragm. Area aortic position is sitting. Aortic sclerosis is a thickening of the valve without any significant effect on the function of the valve itself. There is an ejection systolic murmur at aortic area, not radiating to carotids. This is a loud murmur early in systole. It has a diamond shaped appearance. when viewed on a phonocardiogram although aortic sclerotic can be detected by auscultation echocardiogram is soft is often a better diagnostic method next sound is aortic stenosis mild chest piece is diaphragm area is aortic and the position is sitting there is an ejection systolic murmur at aortic area radiating to carotids this is often a loud murmur heard in early systole this is caused by turbulent blood flow into the aorta s1 and s2 are normal diastole is silent murmur gets shorter with valsava maneuver it has a diamond shaped appearance when viewed on the phonocardiogram which is heard when the murmur rises in sound intensity the murmur is characterized by regular vibrations which give the murmur a musical quality cooing next sound is aortic stenosis moderate form Next sound is aortic stenosis severe form I hope you can hear it properly Next sound is mixed mitral valve disease chest piece is diaphragm area mitral position left lateral this is an example of severe mitral stenosis combined with mild mitral regurgitation hence mixed mitral valve disease with dominant mitral stenosis the first heard sound is slightly louder than normal the second heard sound is unsplit there is an opening snap 50 milliseconds after the second heard sound there is a low frequency murmur filling all of diastole the first two thirds of the murmur is diamond shaped and the last third is a crescendo there is a rectangular medium you can see murmur which fills the first half of systole
Next sound is mitral valve prolapse. Chest piece is diaphragm, area is mitral, position is supine. A mid systolic click is followed by a late systolic diamond shaped murmur. This is classic MVP, mitral valve prolapse. Next sound is mitral regurgitation moderate. Chest piece is diaphragm, area is mitral, position is supine position. The murmur of mitral regurgitation is a mid frequency rectangular murmur taking up of all systole, S1 is normal and S2 is single. There is a third heard sound, gallop in diastole. The murmur is caused by turbulent flow through the incompetent mitral valve, reflects into the left atrium. Next sound is mitral regurgitation severe. Next heard sound is mitral stenosis, mild form. Chest piece is bell, area is mitral, position is left lateral decubitus. It is a rumbling type, low pitched crescendo decrescendo type. Mid diastolic murmur at mitral area with presystolic presystolic accentuation after the opening snap. Turbulent blood flow from the left atrium into the left ventricle is responsible for the murmur. Next sound is mitral stenosis moderate form. Next sound, mitral stenosis, severe form. Chest piece is bell, area mitral, position left lateral decubitus. It is a rumbling type, low pitched, crescendo decrescendo type, mid diastolic murmur at mitral area with presystolic accentuation after the opening snap, turbulent blood flow from the left atrium into the left ventricle is responsible for the murmur. Next heard sound is mid systolic click. It's like you are traveling in the train. Chest piece is diaphragm, area mitral, position supine. This is an auscultation example of mid systolic click. Heard at the mitral valve area, the first and the second heard sounds are normal. The second heard sound is unsplit and no murmur is present so that you can concentrate on the systolic click. A mid systolic click is often followed by a late systolic murmur of mitral valve leaflet prolapse. Next sound is opening snap. Chest piece is diaphragm, area mitral, position supine. Opening snap is heard as a snap early in diastole. Higher pitch than S2, so it can easily mimic a splitted S2. It is caused by the sudden opening of 
stenosed mitral valve with left atrial contraction. Usually opening of valves does not cause any sound, but in mitral stenosis an opening snap is heard due to increased atrial pressure. It indicates the mitral valve leaflets are pliable. When they are diffusely calcified, the opening snap disappears. Next sound is continuous murmur. These murmurs are audible during both systole and diastole. Although their intensity usually varies during systole and diastole, they result from a communication between a high pressure arterial and low pressure venous chamber or vessel. They are produced by PDA, coronary artery venous fistula, ruptured sinus of valsava aneurysm, cervical venous hum and anomalous cervical venous hum and anomalous left coronary artery. Next sound is early diastolic murmur. I hope you can hear it. Pansystolic or holosystolic murmurs last throughout ventricular systole. They usually start at S1 and proceed through S2. The intensity of the murmur may overshadow both valve closure sounds. These murmurs are typically produced by emptying of the high pressure ventricle during systole into chambers that have lower pressure. At that time, the atria with mitral regurgitation or tricuspid regurgitation or the right ventricular in the case of VST. Next sound is mid systolic murmur. Next third sound is early systolic murmur. Prosthetic heart wall sound. Next heart sound, third and fourth heart sounds. Chest piece bell, area mitral, position supine or left lateral decubitus. The normal heart rhythm contains two audible heart sounds called S1 and S2 that give the well known lub dub rhythm. They are caused by the closing of valves in the heart, but a galloop rhythm contains another two sounds S3 and S4. The presence of both of these sounds form a quadruple galloop. And in situations of very fast heart rate, can produce a summation gallop where S3 and S4 occur close as to be indistinguishable. Next heart sound is third heart sound. Next heard sound is fourth heard sound. Next sound is fixed wide splitting second heard sound. Sound is loud S1 sound, first heard sound.
and soft first heard sound. Next sound, loud second heard sound. Next sound, splitting of first heard sound. 